do with it. So would I. Ikasia is that story. Feel free. Come on in, have a seat, Doe. It's good to see you. How have you been? Good, good. Very good. I want to thank you for coming here. I know it's awkward here. Uh, as you know, my office is currently under renovation. So I want to thank you for coming here. Doe, I want to talk to you today. I want you to speak with me about your addiction. The last time we realized and confronted and said that you have an addiction. Now I want you to go deeper this time. I want you to dive deep within the doll and discuss your feelings, your emotions. To bring out your what real drives feelings. You. Your real emotions. That's what I want to discuss. There's no one else on the set right now. Well, uh, it's just you and me. You know, uh, it, it's been, uh, you know, kind of rough lately uh, with the summer winding down. And, uh, you know, e even though you, you know I mainly go see these art house films, but, um, you know, it's it's something about uh, these summer blockbusters that, that tempt my control, you know I mean? I've been under control, you know, I've been doing good. Um, maybe once or twice since I last binge, uh, three months ago. Three, three months. months. That's when you broke up with your girlfriend, correct? <laughs> you know, you have a lot of nerve. I asked you to come over here so we could have a romantic evening. And what are you doing? You still reading that stupid book? What is wrong with you? I say, sweetheart, please, our, we need to do something about this. Our relationship is slowly starting to deteriorate and you act like you don't even care about me. You know, it's like you see me, but you don't see me. I'm talking, but you're not even listening to me. It's like you have this celluloid android robot thing going on. And I don't even matter. I mean, I don't know what to do anymore. I really don't know what to do with you anymore. I, I've tried everything, and you just, psh, you don't even care. I don't even know why we're here. I mean, I'll just blow all the candles out. You can go home. You know, uh, at this moment, at this time, you are very beautiful. You're like a queen. A queen. Well, now you're trying to butter me up, right? Well, thank you. You know what? I'm, I'm sorry I blew up like that. I, it's just that I just want things to work out. Come here, sweetheart. Give me a kiss. I'm sorry. Well, we can start over. How about you come over to the bed? We can make up. <sighs> well, well, well. Surprise, surprise. Watching another, another movie? You know what? I can't take it anymore. We are no longer a couple. As of this moment, we are no longer a couple. Ooh! Silence is golden in movie theaters, though. And 
work's been going good, you know. Um, mm -hmm. um, I'm starting production soon. Um, in three weeks, actually, um, I'm going to be shooting a documentary. Um, uh, it's going to be, it, well, the, the great thing is, is, is I'm going to do a dream sequence, right? Um, where this guy is sleeping. He has this dream, or you could call it a nightmare. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, th this is what I'm talking about, images. This is what I'm talking about, what cinema could be. Uh, I'm going to do this dream sequence where the, the guy has these horrific nightmares I mean stuff you've never seen before you know and then I'm gonna have this crate and, and this is what I'm talking about that I'm talking about taking voiceover to an artistic level I'm talking about taking a voiceover to a level that you've never seen before in film you know I want you to understand though that I'm happy I'm glad that you found work that you found something that motivates you, that draws you away and out of that dark, dismal chasm of despair. But I want to get down to the real problem. What caused you to become disconnected with reality? I want you to discuss what caused the relapse. Give me a sound bite. Give me a pitch. Give, Give me, me a, a walkthrough of what caused you to take. get to this delusional state. What, what caused you to relapse? narcissistic and depressing. I thought it was beautiful and uplifting. But we, we both loved it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, <laughs> on Wednesday night, um, I was at a shoot. Um, And I gotta be honest, Dr. Simpson, um, I just fucked up, you know. Um, I let my defenses down. I thought, hey, you know what I mean? I, I, I'll catch this one man nay. Uh, that's it. You know, I, I haven't been in a couple months, you know, Doc. I've been doing really good, you know. And, 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 and after that one day, it was like, that was, that was it, you know. The, there was the next day. And there was the next day, and then the next day. You know, I was just feeling it. You know, that sensation. You know, when I, when I, when I, when I see these images, that sensation was beautiful. I'm talking about ecstasy, you know what I mean? And as soon as I walked out of the movie theater, you know, I, I had this disappointment in me, you know? It was like... You know, earlier in the day, there was a seed planted. You know, I had picked up a newspaper, you know, I checked the box office uh, tallies earlier in the week on Monday and I saw ads for movies, you know, the, these advertisements and the, and, and the fact that um, these films were making so much money, you know, it got me thinking. So I'm like, you know, uh, I'll just call it up, you know, check the times, that's it, you know, I was like, I just want to check the times, hear that voice, you know, but, you know, I called and by Wednesday, you know, these films were inside of my mind, you know, they were in my head. I was like, I need to see this film, you know, I was like, this movie's making all this money. It must be a great film. This must be a masterpiece, you know what I mean? And, and that just started a free flow. Now, we talked about you checking these box office tabs. Now we've talked about this though. We've talked about what leads to this free flow. What happens is you walk down the street, you see a newspaper box, you buy the Detroit Free Press or the Detroit News and you turn to the box office tabs and that demon starts speaking to you, starts whispering in your ear. 
that succubus starts telling you to go see this movie. And that's what led to the last binge. And from there, it took off. Bang. Go see that, that demon movie. was on your shoulder whispering in your ear. You've got to see this one. You've got to see this one, though. You've got to see this one. This one is different. This one has action. Oh, this one has suspense. And from that point, you went on a binge. You listened to that demon. You listened to that succubus. So where do we go from here? You must pick you yourself to up yourself once down again. The road of you must believe though. in yourself. You have to believe you must in you. gain you... self-control. You must lead yourself down the path of self-discovery. You must conquer this demon, this addiction. To sit hour upon hour upon hour and watch a movie, you have got to conquer this addiction. This beast, this crazed desire inside of you to sit hour upon hour upon hour and watch a movie I'm listening. I'm in control. In this reality. This is the climax. Just say cut. Cut. Bravo. Bravo, Joe. Bravo. Bravo, Joe. Bravo. Ecosia has starred Dan Gamlin as Dr. Simpson, Angelique Brown as The Girlfriend, Jennifer Streamer and Toya Brazil as The Narcissistic Woman and The Beautiful Woman. This film contains the excerpt of Un Chin de Andalou, a Louis Brunel. Salvador Dali film, 1929, Janice Films. It also contains the excerpt of L. Van Beethoven's Presto Allegro Assai. This has been a Julian Boyance film.